I'm Mr. Rainbow, this is KO Gamer, and welcome to the show. Miss that? Okay, well, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do uh, my opinion on the best five games in 2016 so far. My opinion, you can tell me yours. Uh, I'm gonna start off with one of the first, uh, and that's Doom. And this game is really, really awesome. Like, yeah, it's it's really gory. It, it's fun to play. It's really high paced. It just hits the, the spot. It it really does. Like, it really hits the classic arcade. Just shoot 'em up, even though it's a lot more than that. Uh, <laughs> it's like, the shoot 'em, smash 'em, just blood everywhere. Rip just... 'em, break 'em, stomp on 'em, blow 'em up, rip 'em to pieces. Yeah, oh, I've said that already. But like, it really is. The graphics are sensational. The like the mechanics and everything. Pardon me. Um, it was. It's really, really a good game. Uh, I. It was the first game Doom game I've actually. It probably wasn't the first Doom game I played. I probably played it with my older brother when I was a little younger, but I didn't quite get it. Uh, but yeah, like it, this game was really, really sensational. It's one of my favorite games till this day. Uh, which is twenty sixteen, so that's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna give Doom as. Out of a point system, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it about four and a half stars out of five. Let's say that. Okay, we're gonna turn uh, to an IGN. We yeah. watch again. That we play. Yeah. Again. We're not sponsoring them, by the way. They can get fucked. <laughs> uh, you watch then, IGN all the time. We don't talk about that. Uh, and <laughs> we get over it. Uh, and it, another game I want to talk about is. EA Sports UFC 2, I know most people don't want to play it because it's an MMA game, but it is personally one of my favourite games of all time. I'm sorry about your nose. It's alright. Uh, it, <laughs> it's what, personally one of my favourite games of all time. Like, everything, even, like, the whole beat-up, like, you know, you get hit and You, you broke swirl. my leg the other day on it. Yeah, like, I just kept whack, whacking his leg with leg whack. kicks and, and it just... Don't insult my accent. And he just, like, crumbled because his leg, like... And then the blood, there's so much blood. It's really awesome. Uh, everything just flows really good. Like, it's still got room to improve. But I don't think they're going to do a third one. So for a final mark, they've done a pretty good job. Um, I'm going to give that a four out of five stars. And... Uh, look, uh, this is really late. And I know it's not the best out of 2016, but I'm going to Dying Light. I just recently started playing it. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Like, everything. It's like... It's everything that Dead Island tried to be. De but De better. But Yeah, but better. For because a couple of reasons. Grants has got good game mechanics. I like it. It's got parkour! Have you ever played the original Dead Island? No. Then butt out. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh... Um, <laughs> like, it was really good, and and I like how when you, you when you get a weapon and you start hitting a zombie. Did you say weapon or wet one? Weapon. Or you can get a wet one, I suppose. Um, you get a weapon and you start hitting, and when you hit, actual chunks of flesh fly off. They fly off, and like if you hit them in the ribs, you can like snap their ribs, and you see their ribs fall, and then they're like the inside of their stomach, like boom, boom. But and this is why he went to prison. He didn't actually, but he sounds like you're a serial killer. <laughs> and when you hit them, bits of that flesh go <laughs> no. flying off. Yeah. yeah, so that's good. I'm going to give that around a three and a half stars rating. Uh, so I'm up to my fourth one now, right? Yeah. Uh, so my fourth one, all right. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to give that, this one, to Fallout 4. Wait, that came out too in 2015, eh? Yeah, it's still a good game, though. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> We're changing it from best 2016 to best 2015 slash 16. And I'm going to give it to Fallout 4. Fallout 4 was a really good game, but you got to have a lot of patience for it because it's not a very forgiving game. No, it's yeah, not. Yeah, you can go back to your save files, but really, if you want to play a game that's sort of... You, when you want to play a game, you want to play a game that you can just go straight through, pretty much. Not easily... But when you die, you don't have to go back and do it all again, and like, because it really does punish you. Like, you, you, 
you lose your weapons and stuff like that. And oh, I just didn't like it too. Like, I liked it, but I didn't like it at the same time. I'm going to give that a three out of five star rating. For my fifth one, I am going to go with... <sighs> I don't know, I think I'll leave it there. I'll give you one of the worst games. And this is just my opinion because I didn't like it and I sucked at it. Dark Souls 3. Alright, Dark Souls 3 was so hard. Like, the mechanics and everything worked well, but it was too hard. And I know it's... I'll probably get a lot of crit criticism from actual hardcore gamers out there that love this franchise. And they'll be like... Because I, uh, I really think they should have had... A difficulty system other yeah pro dark souls level or noob that just wants to have a good time and playing it because dead say you'll die lose all your stuff go back to a bonfire and then go die again lose all your stuff go back and and that's how it is you have to die like five times so you can develop the strategy is what they all say but no i'm gonna give that a two star rating for me <laughs> Now over to you. Actually, we're running low on time, so we'll end it at that. And next episode will be my top three movies of 2016. Peace.